made it to Puerto Rico, we're gonna get in a taxi and go to the Korean Hilton. Check in, shower, regret stuff, film the room for you guys, and then get up bright and early and show you the rest of the grounds, the swimming area, the buffet for the food, and everything else. Come on, let's go. This is the Karib Hilton Junior King Suite. Partial ocean view. Kind of overlooks the parking lot, but let's check it out. As you walk in the room, we have a couch, sitting area, big table. Uh, looks like a 50 inch TV LG. Over here, we have um, just a small mini fridge and um, like a coffee center, make coffee um, for breakfast. Get that replaced each day. And you have a separate room where you have the bathroom around the corner over here. And here you have the bathroom, just a standard bathroom, some basic amenities, toilet, standard larger size shower. And here you have your king bedroom, another TV, drawers, sitting desk area for getting some work done. And then there's a balcony. And over here, they have extra towels, ironing board, luggage rack, safe, and an iron. And the hair dryer in case you need that. There's, there is one USB charging here for on, each, on this, each side of the bed, I think. Whether they work or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's USB and phone core, uh, USB and outlet. So you can charge your devices over here by the side of the bed and there's more outlets. It's a king size bed. It's like sand on the bed. There's sand on the bed, am I wrong? Feel this. Did they not clean the bed? It's sand. Put your hand up so I can look at you. It's sand. <laughs> sand. Sand on the top of the bed. Does that mean it's not been clean? That is weird. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. From our room, there's a balcony that you can go out on to. And it's little seats and you got coffee. Right now it's pouring rain, so. It's like our ocean view. It's very large rip currents out there, so you probably shouldn't swim right now. Breakfast with Frey in the morning. This is only a continental breakfast. Look at this salad for breakfast. Oatmeal. The breakfast experience here is uh, 
if you're a Diamond member, you get a uh, Continental Breakfast, which doesn't include any hot items at all. But you can upgrade to hot items, including omelets, eggs, and sausage for $12 per person. Not sure it was worth it, in my opinion. We sat outside and it started downpouring, so our food got wet and we had to leave. But that's not the hotel's fault, that's just nature. But if you just like bread and cold stuff, you can probably get by with just the continental. We're outside now, but in the entrance, I heard this scream, and this is parrots in the cage. along the back side of the uh, water there from the Carib. There's a restaurant here in this apartment complex and up the stairs here and over there is a bagel place where you can go and eat and get uh, two and three dollar coffees and bagels and eggs and sandwiches and fruit smoothies. coffee was pretty good this morning so I mean come here don't go to Starbucks over in the hotel it's a ripoff here it's good just a little ways away from the Carib Hilton I think we're over there is the Carib you walk along the water and you come up these stairs here and you have a bagel shop if you want coffee it's two dollars three dollars up to five dollars for an ice latte if you don't want to wait in the ever-present, never-ending line at Starbucks and pay three times that, come here to the bagel shop. Puerto Rico Bagel Company. I guess it's called. And then you can just come over here and get the cheap coffee. Bagel for cream cheese is $3. You can get sandwiches all day breakfast. So we're going to get a coffee. So we're going to put our masks on and go inside. We'll let you know how it is as soon as we taste it. What's the Got a turkey club bagel sandwich and it comes with some potatoes. It's twelve dollars or something. A small mimosa. Um it looks nice, I mean it tastes pretty good. Garden Lane Carib Hilton. 
and uh, came outside across from the ballroom. I walked down by the old fort and check out the beach area.
They have sun in us. Sunbeds there, loungers. It's like less waves out here, so it's probably the best area you could swim. I'm not sure how rocky it is, though. I'll have to test it out. Somebody's got like a mini scuba platform over there. This is a swimming area in here, but but over here, there's a swim beach here. There's a swim platform out there.